Um, no, we'll build. Yeah, we'll build an outreach center, I guess. No, we're gonna build a ham campaign headquarters because Florida's an important state. Oh man, no! Look at California. California doesn't like me as much. That's bad. Mitt Romney was won the endorsement of the Christian Christian Confederation. See, because all you guys were like, no. Don't be nice to churches. All right, I'm raising a bunch of money in California. We're going to build a headquarters. Mitt Romney's won the endorsement of the Tea Party movement. Well, we weren't going to win that anyway. Your opponent's got more endorsements than you. Oh, no. We'll get more. Don't worry. Who's that? George Lucas? Oh, he's a movie director. It's half the money for ads there. Don't worry. We're going to raise some more funds. And then the next turn, we're going to put up one more TV ad. Man, it's not looking good right now. If you see all the red everywhere, that's not good. Let's see, he's got two endorsements already. I got none. Mitt Romney's won the endorsement of the U.S. Chamber of Business. Oh, that sucks. Fuck you. So we're going to create an ad. Uh, what should we say that Mitt Romney's for? Um, Mitt Romney opposes tax cuts. No, that's not going to help us. Uh, our, our, our body is Congress, Snowy Panda. Our legislative branch is Congress. There's a the House of Representatives and the Senate. But can, congr uh, together we call them the Congress. Um, let's see. Man, we, we gotta like smear him or say we're we're for green jobs. No, because that's gonna hurt our. Well, that'll hurt our Republican appeal. <clears throat> say Mitts hate hates gay people. That's gonna help him with the people he likes, though. Okay, we'll say Mitt Romney hates gay marriage. That'll help us with independents and Democrats. Um, and we're going to we're gonna raise some more funds. Let's see, did I do the right kind of TV ad? Oh, I did a newspaper ad. I meant to do a TV ad. I fucked that up. We'll do a TV ad that's that same way that uh, Mitt Romney opposes gay marriage. Like, come on. Gay people have a right to get married, too. Parliament's the English word for all government? I thought it was just the legislative body there, Snowy Panda. Shows what I know. Let's see. We have two available political points. That's not very much. I'm waiting to see if you see any little like cameras pop up. He's going to Hawaii? That's weird. Alright, we're going to No, not give a speech. Fundraise. California, give me all your monies. Okay, and we're just gonna upgrade our headquarters all the way. There we go, right there. We need to go there. Can I? Oh, wait, that's just an opportunity for him. We have to go here to Washington, Oregon. That's going to help me. Mitt Romney's won the endorsement of the National Foreign Policy Committee. Would you like to appear on the cold cut repertoire? You only need 12 states to win? I guess it would. I don't know. Can you do that if you get the big 12 biggest states? I doubt it. <clears throat> We're going to go on the show. <laughs> she looks weird. Tonight on the cold cut repertoire, we bring you part one and two part series. Kind of know a candidate, despite objections of both Democrat and Republican Party committees. Have we won the war on terror? Bin Laden was shot in the face. I shot him in the face, and I know I saw some banner that said mission accomplished. Um, oh man, we got so many options. Uh, I think we need to redouble our efforts. No, it's a sham to call it a war. We need to stay strong and fight terrorists wherever we can. But it's a sham to call it a war. There's no one nation to defeat or one dictator to remove. We need to change the way we think of the war on terror. Because the, the rest of the world will just seem to be bu bu bullies who want... Uh, uh, think of we're bullies who want to run things our way. Wow. Being intelligent helps. Foxy, you were right. <laughs> when I was like the other guys, between the mortgage crisis and the recession... Many Americans are worried about losing their homes. I already have too many people trying to wash the windshield of my limo. What as president can you do to solve this? Um, I never stop it. I don't know so much about a mortgage thing. No. We need to tighten regulations. 
You were shut up, Foxy. I'm the liberal. We need to regulate everything. Cash I seize all. We need to tighten regulations on lenders and find new rules that allow American families to be able to afford their house payments again. Oh, that's right. That's it for the cold cut repertoire. Tune in next week to find out who'll be president in 2012. Yeah, fuck you, bankers. It's a lot easier when your candidate's intelligent. Dick Sucker was so dumb, he was mostly like, what's a word? Brave answers on the cold cut repertoire impresses. Vagina makes case to voters. I love it when a vagina makes a, vagina makes a case to me. Um, all right, let's... Uh, oh, I can zoom in. I forgot about that. While we're here, let's give a speech. Let's tell the people here that we um, want to reduce the deficit. Oh, the people love that shit. Oh, I didn't know you were engaged. Congratulations there, Snowy Panda. And let's go here and raise some more funds. And we'll raise some more funds. There's a lot of raising funds early on. Can I ask what state he's from? Mitt Romney's won the endorsement of the National Gun Owners Association. Let's see, we're going to upgrade our headquarters here to a maximum one. Oh, what game? You know, I probably didn't need to do that in California, come to think of it. And we're going to put this guy to raise our awareness. What state should we move in? Let's put him in... Let's put him in Illinois. I've kind of been ignoring the Midwest. Oh, do you like Brotherhood? God bless you all. Thanks, Bob. God bless you, everyone. Um, let's see. Are there any other special things to do on the map? Well, there's one way up. Where's that? Maine? I think that's Maine. It's Maine or Massachusetts. I think it's supposed to be in Maine. Can we fly up there? Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's good. What a sham. As soon as Lucy Vagina arrived in the state earlier this week, she was slapped with a lawsuit. It takes away $198,000. Oh! Why is there so much love in the room? I can't approve of any of that. Oh, wait. Now that I'm a liberal, I have to. I love everyone, too. <laughs> well, we're here. Oh, we can't do anything. Let's see. Do we have enough special interest points for political capital? No, we need a few more. What I need to do is put some... Um... Oh, did I put an outreach center? No, that's Romney's. I have a headquarters there. See who's that guy? That's his operative. He's got an operative. I hate when companies do that. All right, let's build a headquarters here. We'll build a outreach center because we need some PR clout. Oh, we don't have enough money. Can I give a speech? No. Can I raise funds? Oh, that was fuck you, Maine. Maine doesn't have any money. We're gonna go to New York where there's real money. Can I get to New York? Give me money. Okay, and give me more money. You only love beer because it may loves you back? How do you know it loves you back? Come on. Uh, Ohio, turn from purple to blue. <clears throat> Starting to get his word out, Mitt Romney began, began an advertising campaign expressing his views on reducing unemployment this week to the voters in Alaska. Staff members close to the candidate expressed their excitement for the new ads. This is really one of the most beautiful states in the world, one addict's Eight exclaimed, we truly want the residents of Alaska to understand the feelings. Quick to succumb, succumb to the heat of battle. Polls show Lucy Vagina has slipped. I hate a slippery vagina, or do I? Behind Mitt Romney in his first leg of the presidential race. Don't rule her out so quickly, one expert noted. With the vagina campaign just getting started, it's much too early to predict a winner. Um, yeah, welcome to America when you do. <clears throat> uh, where was I? This optimism was ignored at the Romney camp where staff members are thrilled with the early exults, results. I think she should just throw in the towel, said one of the Romney volunteers joked. I mean, once you have a lead like hers, it's hard to catch up. You must open that vagina wide and swallow up those votes. We're going to build another headquarters here. We're going to build... What are we going to build? A campaign headquarters? Okay, we'll build a campaign headquarters. We'll raise some funds. And then we'll go here, and we'll, um... Oh, I want to build another campaign headquarters. I guess we'll raise some funds in Pennsylvania. Let's see, and who's this guy? Oh, he raised, raises awareness of our thing? We'll put him in Massachusetts. 
Oh, it takes our stamina for that? Oh, he lives in Nevada? I have some friends who do. I, uh, my friend Gamer Pixie, who, uh, I love her channel. She lives in Nevada, too. Ooh, wait, that's for the... Mitt Romney's won the endorsement for the National Association for Women? Oh, no! What the hell? Really? Really? I need to work on that a little more, I guess. That's, um... Really? Yeah. Okay, there's an opportunity for us in uh, Maryland. Game over, man. Game over. We're going to build a headquarters here, a campaign headquarters. Let's see. We're going to head to Maryland for the TV op. Oh, another chance for the cold cut rapport. <clears throat> Tonight on the cold cut repertoire, we find out who will be the next president of the United States. A little bird tells me it'll be the candidate who has the marbles to face me tonight. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I ain't got marbles. Oh, fuck. I didn't see what the question was. I hit the button. Um, well, we're not going to say big government. We should cut taxes for hardworking Americans and raise taxes on the fat cats who get rich off the blood, sweat, and tears of the middle class. It's time for income redistribution. Liberal power. Oh, fuck you people. Fuck you all. Not you watching, but the people didn't like that. I can't help but notice that everyone seems to be calling for more jobs, yet I keep losing interns every time I ask one to clean my dressing room. Is there really a job crisis in America, or are the people just too lazy to do the dirty jobs that need doing? Um. I think we need to see that. America already has jobs. They're being sent outside of the United States. We need to keep our jobs at home and stop outsourcing them. We're not going to see American weak workers are too greedy. Oh, maybe we'll do that. We need to stop outsourcing existing jobs and stop greedy corporations from devaluating the American worker. Yeah, people like that. That's it for the cold cut repertoire. Buy my book. No, really, you should buy it. The book is quite well thought out and whimsically written. Look into the world of politics. Hey, our polls numbers have gone up. You know what I just realized, too? Burn the CEOs? Um, give me a second. Let's see, where am I? I don't know if this will work or not. We can do this for anybody that's watching later on. Oh, that's going to take up more of the room than I wanted to. Yeah, I don't think you... Can you read it like that? It's probably too small. That's what she said. Yeah, it's probably too small. Is it okay, Snowy Panda? Oh, okay, good. All right, so what was I doing? Okay, while we're here, let's build a headquarters. Let's build a consulting office. Maybe we'll get a few endorsements. I'm kind of late in the game on that. And let's move this guy to Massachusetts. Whoa, what the hell's going on with the controller? Stop doing... What are you doing, game? I'm not touching anything. Stop. Game, stop that. Okay, we're going to take this guy and move him to Massachusetts. Oh, he's like, he loves it there. He's like, I love Massachusetts. Ooh, what's there? We're going to go find out. Hoping to make this land opportunity a better place. An anonymous rich donor has donated some fat loot to Fat Lucy's vagina. You get a million dollars. Cool. We needed that. And actually, we're going to build a headquarters here. Let's see. We'll just keep upgrading it as much as we can. Special interest. Political capital. Um, we're going to have a fashion consultant because then we look prettier. People always vote for the pretty people. Every day a candidate has the opportunity to spread the political joy. And now you can spread fashion joy. Look at her giant fucking head. That is so weird when it's out like that. Just sticking up at you. That is scary. Ew, it's just like, oh god. You don't want to wake up with that in your face. So far, we're solidly safe in California and South Carolina. Those are two states you really want to expect to both be really solidly together on an issue or a candidate. 
So we're off to a slow start. Let's see the um Let's see, that's the awareness. The lighter the green, the more aware they are of us. These are the states with the most like electoral votes. Oh, I don't... So far, though, we're not doing Confederate Mexican flags for all. We're going to have to go campaign in Mexico, because so far our campaign is starting off really slow. Let's, uh... Did I build a headquarters here? Mitt Romney got... Oh! Damn you, Mitt Romney! Getting all these fucking endorsements. Uh, we're going to... Oh, go for Florida? Okay, I'm going to raise some funds here. And then, um... I might have to do that next turn. I want to finish upgrading the campaign headquarters here. Do we have enough for Florida? Yeah, we definitely need to go to Florida. There's not enough. Yeah, it's weird. He's gonna, It's because he built some of the, um... Stuff to get community outreach. I don't know if I built any of those yet. I thought I did. I built one in Maryland. But he's built a bunch of those and I haven't. So let's raise funds before we go to Florida. She gave the speech. Um, I favor. Um, I favor deficit reduction. People are gonna like that. Plus four percent. Then we're gonna go from here all the way down to Florida. Do we have something? Oh, we have an election headquarters here. And do we have any? Oh, I thought we got points for that. Maybe I built the wrong thing. We can get a special interest dude, though. Let's get a webmaster? No, a PR consultant. That'll help us with our media interviews. Which is important. Let's see, several fun lasers, razors later, the presidential candidate Lucy Vagina continues to bring in the bucks at an event in this week in Illinois. Despite, an, despite the impressive haul of 123,000, experts warned... A fundraiser burnout. Hey, look, we're doing better in Illinois. And let's see, we got a candidate here. We're going to send, or not a candidate, a guy there. Did we get two of them? These guys will raise, raise our awareness in other states. I don't like how he's doing okay in Ohio. Let's uh, raise some monies. Are there any more... TV opportunities? I don't see any. Man, Massachusetts should not be that red. I mean, I know Mitt Romney's kind of from there, but... Let's see, we'll upgrade this. I think that's it. Must have built the wrong thing. Oh man, don't be giving speeches, you dickweed! All right, we're going to give a speech, too. We're going to say that our opponent opposes unemployment. He wants people to be unemployed. Yeah, see, everybody? If we click on the state, how do I see it? Oh, there we go. You can see here that Mitt Romney's doing bad in Social Security. Oh, I should have done a Social Security speech for all the old people. Smear that dick. Uh, let's see. They're more aware of him here than I am. they are of me. That should change, though. I've got some TV ads going. Let's see, can we create another TV ad? I don't think we have enough money. No. We will raise a little more money. And then let's do one more TV ad. Let's see. I favor supporting Israel. That's a pretty popular thing here. We're like, yay for Jews. Oh, see, look. All the old people in Florida were like, yeah. Oh, I want to get to Texas, but he might beat us to that. Let's see, anything else? Nope. Okay, we got to quickly get to Texas. I want that question mark. Give me a P. Give me an R. What's that? Give me a president. What's that spell? Lucy Vagina. A cheerful local helper has joined the team of Lucy Vagina for president. Experts predict she will double awareness in any given state that she's gained through ads, visits, or campaigning. Oh, admit Romney's won basically the ACLU endorsement. Okay, so what did I build here? Oh, I have an election headquarters. Yeah, she is. That's how she does it. I probably am not going to fight too hard for Texas. That's probably a loss. 
Um, where's the cheerleader? Oh, wait, here she is. What state should I put her in? Um, I'm thinking of one of the bigger Midwest states. Oh, I could put her in Pennsylvania or New York, too. I don't know. I think I might put her in Michigan, though. Put her in my home state. Because we don't have enough awareness going on there. We're kind of lacking in a lot of places. Ooh, there's a television appearance for us up in Minnesota. Say, so I'm going to raise some money, then we're on that. Lucy Vagina. Get your vagina on that. Well, apparently, this is the only show that wants to have us. Tonight on the Cold Cut Repertoire, one of the presidential candidates joins me for a nice sit-down. Apparently, they have never seen the show. We all know that the Bible and the Constitution are pretty much the same. As president, what will you do to ensure the godless heathens don't plunge their fist into the chest of America and rip out its Christian heart. Um, let's really live the Crusades. We're not going to do that. No, I'll remove God from the dollar bill and pass the law at Christmas. That's probably a bad idea. Let's see, the ideals of America has always been gained. America is a place of great faith and it is also a place of great many faiths. I believe the country is equally welcome to all. That's going to be our politically correct liberal answer. Oh, people liked it. I, for one, have a gay friend, but for some reason he wants to get married. I don't understand that, since I just assumed he was gay so he could get out of all the nagging. But he wanted to ask me how you stand on the issue. Um, any couple should be allowed to be married. That was one of our campaign platforms. I believe that any couple who is willing to make the commitment, regardless of sexual preference, should be allowed to marry in the eyes of God and the law. Oh, the people liked it. Yay! That's it. Man, it's so much easier to have good political outings when you're not stupid. The voters are pleased with Vagina Rally. Rally that vagina. Rally around the vagina with a pocket full of shells. We'll build a headquarters here. Oh, unfortunately, I can't do any more speeches. Is that a political operative of ours? Yeah, we're going to move him into Wisconsin. Yay, Vag! I'm on Team Vag all the way. <laughs> Let's see, is there anywhere else that we're really kind of missing? I do gotta get Washington in a bit. Let's see what the polls say. Right now, the polls predict we'd have 91 electoral votes, and Mitt Romney would have almost all the electoral votes. That's not so good. That doesn't bode well for us. What was that noise? A powerful call to arms by Mitt Romney in Maine. Man, I do not like how red this thing is. Yeah, Vag, you know the love of Vag? That should be the whole thing. Get on Team Vag. You love the Vag. That's why she's got her evil monocle. Um, Let's go to Wisconsin. And let's build an outreach center. I should have built one of those before. Go win Florida and Michigan? Okay, I'm going to raise some funds here. I'm going to give a speech before... Oh, I can't. We're going to create a t an ad? We're going to create an ad saying I'm going to reduce... Uh, no, that the opponent wants there to be unemployment. And then next time we'll head towards... Yeah, we can head towards Michigan, I guess. And then maybe Florida. Florida is looking okay. It's not great right now, but the campaign continues to move forward as candidates choose their running mates this week. Now that the campaign has reached its halfway point, the time has come for each candidate to choose a running mate. After all, Lucy Vagina can't expect. Oh, Mitt Romney's got the vote of environmentalists. Oh, to do this on her own. All right, these are the people I can pick for for my running mate: Al Franken, Stuart Smalley. <laughs> You're good enough, you're smart enough, and doggone it, people like you. Al Gore, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Kucinich, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, oh, both Clintons, Joe Biden, John Kerry, John F. Kennedy. No, we're not going to do dead people. Michelle Obama, Nancy Pelosi. All right, we're not going to do Jefferson. Jefferson's dead. Oh, yeah, Pelosi, that's scary looking. <laughs> no, unfortunately, unfortunately, Batman's not on there. Does anybody have a preference? Um, we could have an old lady ticket. Al Franken? 
Yeah, I could do Al Franken. We'll, we'll do Al Franken. That's old school. That's SNL, dude. Your running mates used to raise awareness. So if I put... Let's see, where is Al Franken right now? Oh, he's in Minnesota, his home state. So whatever state I put him in, all the states around will know more about me. So we're going to put him right here in Kentucky. Because it touches a lot of fucking states. In a lot of the Midwestern states, we want to have a chance at. So I think that'll be pretty solid. And then I don't know... Who did he pick for his running mate? Let's see, there's Mitt... He, did he pick Richard Nixon? He picked Richard Nixon. There's a great um, <laughs> great group to vote for. You can vote for Mitt Romney and Richard Nixon. Wow, that's a ticket you can trust. <laughs> that's a fact and a half. Okay, we're going to upgrade this, and then we're going to go to Michigan. We can probably... We'll leave him there. We're going to build a headquarters here. And let's see. Oh, we only have one outreach. What about higher operatives? Um, Speechwriter? What's Webmaster? His connections provide Lucy Vagina campaign advertisements with 75% cut in maintenance. Whatever state he's working on. Well, that's not going to help us here. How about a smear merchant? I don't know if we even need a smear merchant. <laughs> Speechwriter? Yeah, we're going to do a Spear Merchant. And we'll leave him in Michigan. Romney and Dick Sucker? That would have been cool. Wait, what's this? Continuing her showing of mediocrity in the second half of the election period, polls still show Lucy Vagina trailing behind front runner Mitt Romney. We're going to break out of this rut! One of Vagina's staff members insisted. We spent the first half of the race establishing ourselves. Now it's time to shine! Vagina shine powers! Things are just revving up for Lucy. You just wait and see. As workers on Vagina's team teeter on the verge of irrelevancy, volunteers working for Romney's election campaign expressed an upbeat optimism for the candidate. Do we really have to wait another 20 weeks to win? One staff member asked. I mean, it must be getting embarrassing for Lucy's campaign. They should really consider throwing in the towel. What a dick. Let's look at the polls. Oh, electoral vote-wise, we're still doing the same thing. <laughs> Not so good. Let's see, we're going to build... We're going to just upgrade our... Let's see, we're going to raise some money. Oh, man, there's not enough money in Michigan. That's not good. I want to raise enough so we can, like, upgrade that all the way. I do not want to see Michigan that color. Not when I'm running. Well, so far we have four states that will probably vote for us. And four, five more that might consider it. That doesn't bode well. Let's see, what about you, Mere Merchant? Let's move you to Ohio. That seems good. I want Ohio. Okay, we have enough money now. We can f finish up our headquarters. And then um, let's give his Michigan speech. Let's talk about bank bailouts. We hate the bank bailouts. Fuck them. Fuck the banks. Banks are bad. <laughs> That's what she sounds like when she gives a speech. Yeah, look at how the Midwest is changing. Well, Pennsylvania's not Midwest, but still. Um, Florida? I guess we'll fly down to Florida. Special interest. Yeah, we can finally win an endorsement. Is there really only one left? From, like, the NAACP? He got all the other ones? All right. Oh, I don't have enough clout. No, he can't win that one, too. What about political capital? Let's hire... Let's hire a smear merchant. No, let's hire a spin doctor here. Kelly will give you 55 in Texas. Kelly's all the way up to 55 now? See, we're not going to get Texas. Oh, Mitt Romney won. Oh, I built that for nothing. The NAACP supports Mitt Romney. Are you kidding me? So I got the special interest points for nothing. I can't use any of them. He got all of those. Well, the big ones we're going to want is we're definitely going to want California. That should be easy for us to get. I do need to get up into Washington at some point. In fact, if... um, Maybe I should send this guy to Washington. It's not a ton of points, but that's the kind of points we should get. 
We definitely need... Oh, New York is not looking so bad. We should definitely have that in Florida. If we could hit Florida and Illinois and Ohio and then these, you know, we'd be alright. And then hopefully Michigan and Minnesota. So is this upgraded all the way? Yes, it is. It is? I can upgrade it more? Oh, wait. It's not all the way. Let's... We're going to have to go to New York. Yeah, we're not going to win Texas. That's why we're going to mostly avoid it. But New York, we need to win this. We're going to raise some funds. Um, let's see. Can we build a better HQ? Yes, we can upgrade the HQ. When we get some money, we're going to have to start doing some more TV ads or something. We are making a little bit of progress here. I'm sure we're doing worse in the polls. Yeah, look. We're doing better in the polls. That is a scary face. We're up to an estimated 138 for electoral college votes. Yeah, we definitely need New York. Without New York, without New York or California, we're fucked. We have absolutely no choice. Let's see, did I miss? Uh, oh, there's a question mark there. I want to go there. Let's give a speech to the New Yorkers. Um, we're gonna say we're pro gay marriage. And then we're going to go all the way down to Arkansas and see what's going on there. A sneaky well no, a sneaky know-it-all known by experts as a scandal monger has joined forces with Lucy Vagina to dig up any possible dirt on their opponent, having their integrity in whatever state the scandal monger is in. Can I move the scandal monger? Oh, I can. We're going to put him in New York. That seems pretty cool. <laughs> Find some dirt on on Nixon. Uh, we definitely, though, New York and Pennsylvania should be much more blue. Hell, New Jersey and Massachusetts should be a little blue. Let's see, how much is our awareness here? Oh, our awareness is really good here. So we can move our awareness guy. Is this our awareness guy or theirs? I think that's theirs. Yeah, because he's got red. What about this guy? That's a smear merchant. But we honestly need our some more TVs. We're going to ads. We're going to create an ad. Wait, we've done deficit reduction. We've done that. Tax cuts. Oh, why would I oppose tax cuts? My opponent favors tax cuts? That seems weird. Well, part of it is our campaign starting a little slow. Let's uh We're just going to go to Pennsylvania. See, we need to eventually upgrade this. We'll do a fundraiser. And I think that'll be our turn. Oh, there was a TV opportunity up there that I missed. Fuck. Can I get up there yet? Barry King Live. My head's in the way of the TV thing of the background. Tonight at Barry King Live, we celebrate our one millionth episode in the air. Funny feels just like the last millennia that we started. When most people in this fine country think of Iran, the first thing that pops in their head is a flock of seagulls song. I love that band. In fact, I had my hair styled like the lead singers back in 82. Anyway, why should we worry about whether or not they have nuclear weapons? The country, not the band. And if the country gains nuclear capabilities, will you order an invasion? Um, I like to sing. I ran. I ran so far away. I ran both night and day. Um, well, I'm not going to say we should attack because I said we were peaceful. So we're going to say if it becomes a threat, we'll deal with it. Because, like, the rest of the stuff, we're not going to say we want to fight. We're not warmongers. I love bagels and lox and cream cheese. And you can get the best at Saul's in the Lower East Side. I love baseball, especially the Brooklyn Dodgers. They move, dude. I love this country almost as much as I love suspenders. And I can see by the American flag outfit on you, that you're wearing, you love this country, too. Where do you see America's place in the world? We're number one. Um, oh, I don't want to say the equal. Hail Britannia, <laughs> Britannia, <laughs> uh, Snowy still around, <laughs> no I don't think we're going to do Rue Britannia, we're the leader, we must behave responsibility, I see the United States as leading, as the leading nation in a world community, we must make, uh, use the leadership responsibility to make the world a better place, that wraps it up for us tonight, hey we did well again, she's doing like really good, Bodish please with the vagina impresses nation, that's an impressive vagina. 
Unfortunately, they don't have Anderson Cooper in this. It would be really cool if they did. What week are we on? 25? We really need things to turn around, though, more so. There are more states that are starting to get interested in us. I was hoping Al Franken would start to have a little more six cents. Six cents? Success. Uh, so where was I going? New York? Let's raise some funds. And then let's upgrade our headquarters all the way. Hopefully that'll help. We're going to create just a local ad that I favor. I oppose firing Big Bird. Wait, isn't that good? The opponent favors... Our opponent favors firing Big Bird. He lives in New York, so they're not going to like that at all. More ads from Romney talking about supporting Israel. I said I'd support Israel too. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should look. Um, I can't do anything with this clout. It's useless because he got all those endorsements that helped him. Can I hire an operator? An intimidator? No, we're going to hire... A fixer? Yeah, we're going to hire a fixer to help fix the vote. That seems fair, doesn't it? And then we should be able to be done with uh, New York. We'll raise some more funds. And then we really need to get into some of these other states. I'm going to go into his home state and give a speech. I'm going to say, uh, Mitt Romney wants you to be unemployed. He don't want you to have no jobs. I don't know if that's going to help us at all. Our awareness is way too low here. What I need to do on our next turn is build another national TV campaign. So we're going to do that. We're going to do... Um, fuck. We'll do one for... Our opponent is against gay marriage. I oh, see. Look, that's already playing in Massachusetts. We're starting to see some of the states getting more up in the air. That they're not sure. That maybe they want us. Even with... Look, I like how Richard Nixon's been here the whole time. And he's still not been able to stop them from being blue. We're going to use this guy, our fixer, and get rid of somebody, though. Can we get rid of that cheerleader? If I right-click, you go murder her. <laughs> yep, cheerleader's gone. <laughs> so much for your cheerleader there, Mitt Romney. <laughs> She died a horrible death. Shit like that happens. What can I say? Um, let's go to Pennsylvania. I don't think there's anything else cool to do. No. And can we upgrade the headquarters here? 500? We'll do that. And then we'll... Oh, when we get some more money, we'll create one more TV ad. I want to give a speech, but we can't. That blows. You've rested so much that your maximum stamina has increased. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that could happen. Let's do our dumbass fundraising. Oh, come on. We need a million so we can upgrade our headquarters. Which we can't do yet. We'll just build another TV ad. Let's see. Our opponent provide tax returns. I'm going to provide my tax returns to everybody to show that I'm not a douche and cheating on my taxes. That'll make people like me more. And let's get a, we'll get a webmaster here. That'll lower our at TV fees. Oh, don't be giving speeches there. Al Franken, why are you not making everybody know about me more? You're not doing a very good job, Al Franken. You're supposed to make everybody know about me more. And, like, nobody here in this part of the South knows about me at all. We are moving up, though, the projected electoral votes. Whether or not we actually get those is another thing. So we'll upgrade our headquarters. Do we have a maxed out headquarters in Ohio? Oh, yes, we do. Let's see, how are we doing in Michigan? Michigan, we're doing all right in. What about here? Kentucky? No, it's still not. 
Maryland's like totally undecided. Fuck, what state do I hit next? I feel like we ought to hit some of the southern states, or at least like Virginia. Okay, you go to Virginia. Washington. Okay, okay, I'll do Washington after this. We'll build a headquarters here. Um, we'll create a local ad. We'll create a radio ad. That I am for the auto bailouts. Oh, we don't have enough money? All right, I'll make a newspaper ad that says that. And then next turn, we'll head up all the way out to Washington. Because I think, I think you're right. I've ignored Washington. And we can move that guy. Let's move him. I don't know. Let's move him to Virginia. I don't really see a lot. Still so. Oh, there's a. No, oh, that's not a TV. Oh, there's a TV opportunity for us in Maryland. We gotta do that first, and then we'll go to Washington. Cold cut. Tonight on the Cold Cut Repertoire, we will find out who the next president of the United States will be. Oh, we already saw that one. I've heard it said that Social Security is broken. I'm a bit concerned about this because I don't want to have to start paying my mother's bills as well as my own. How would you go about fixing it? Um. We must remember what Social Security stands for and find a way to make it work. This means adjusting the might mean adjusting the current system, but I would never just get rid of it. Um, or we could say Social Security was one of the greatest achievements in American history. We need to step up and make it work. If that means Americans, we need to dip in our pockets a little more, at least we can do it. Um, we're going to do that. Let's cut right to the chase. If you're elected, how many days will it take to invade Iran? Are you an American-hating peace Nick? I'm a peace Nick. Um, there's no reason to invade Iran. I think that Iraq's taught us some important lessons. There's no reason to invade Iran. And I firmly believe our differences can be worked out diplomatically. Yeah, we've had enough wars for a while. I can't believe how well the peace thing is going. Strong showing on cold cut re repertoire wins independence. Alright, then let's head out to... Well, why don't we give a speech while we're at it? I oppose firing... No, my opponent... Favors firing Big Bird. Don't you care, Mary Lynn? <laughs> Alright, we're going all the way out to Washington. There she is. And we'll build a headquarters here. Running on the Big Bird platform. Cause can you just tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? See we need more political capital. I should get more of those. I should have built one of those. What are we doing poll-wise? We're still well behind. Popular vote-wise, we're pretty close. But we're pretty far behind. Um, I best get to Nevada. Nevada! Uh, Alright, I will head to Nevada in um, the next turn. Oh, can I head to there this turn? There I am. I'm in Nevada. Let's see. Continuing or showing a mediocrity. mediocrity Three quarters of the way through the campaign. Polls still show... Lucy loses. Oh, smear campaigner got rid of one of my people. Mitt Romney says we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna shine. We already saw that. Get those gamblers on our side. Uh, hey, Snowy Panda, do you know how uh, elections work in America for president? Because I, I didn't think about it. Like, if you're not American, it might be confusing how how this works. I don't know if you've already seen the. Uh, what happens is we don't we don't directly elect our president. Like, um, I live in the state of Michigan, right? And so the state of Michigan has, I think it's 17 electoral votes. So whoever wins the majority of Michigan gets those electoral votes. And every state has a different amount. Bigger states have more, depending on populace. And whoever gets the most electoral votes wins. So right now, that's why, though I'm pretty close in popular vote, I'm really far away in electoral votes. It's basically you have to win the states, the majority of a given state. And the bigger states are way more important. And Nevada isn't a very big state. But you asked me to go there, so we're going to. We're going to build a campaign headquarters there. And then we're going to go to Arizona and build a campaign headquarters here too. Because somebody asked me to do that. And we'll create... Yeah, I don't like how it's winner take all with a lot of states. There's only two states that aren't, yeah, that break it up. I wish more states would break it up. We'll raise some funds. No, we're going to go to California and raise some funds. We're not out here often. Can we hire an operative? We're going to hire an intimidator. The Spurs will go around docking down campaign size. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's all good, Snowy Panda. Uh, you were the one who gave us the model about loving the vagina or whatever. 
So we're going to hire the Intimidator. Where is the Intimidator? Didn't I just hire him? I can't see him. Oh, wait, there he is. We definitely don't need him in California. California looks good. We're going to send him to Ohio. He's going to go to Ohio and rough people up to try and make them not vote. Because that's what I believe democracy is about, is making people not vote. We're doing okay in parts of the Midwest. We need we need to do a lot better though than where we are. We're gonna raise some funds. Cal he's a small team there. I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> California's got a shitload of money, so we're just gonna raise a bunch of funds here because we probably won't be back out this way for a while, if at all. Okay, that's all the more we're gonna raise from here. Midgets and their issues. Good old midget issues. See how aware are, they're not. Oh, they should be more aware of us in Washington. Oh, Al Franken finally has got people in Kentucky knowing about us. You do it, Al Franken and Missouri. See how are we doing in Ohio? The rating. Oh, he's just ahead of us. We've got to get ahead in some of these places. Ooh, some of the southern states are starting to get to know about us. So we're going to fly all the way to, should be Pennsylvania or Ohio. I think we'll go Ohio. Because Foxy knows how much I love Ohio. Let's, Nixon, I know, Nixon's like, I'll win California for you. And the West just keeps going more and more towards me. Part of it though is too, is because Snowy Panda suggested I head West and I forget who suggested I head to Washington, which was a good idea though. Let's see, Hawaii doesn't like us. We really don't have time to go to Hawaii though. We're going to create a new ad. Let's see, we did a bank bailout ones. Our Okay, our, our, our opponent favors bank bailouts, we're going to say. Mitt Romney wants bank bailouts all day long. We're going to create another... Oh, wait, that wasn't a national TV one, was it? There we go. The big thing is, uh, the one thing that's tougher for Republicans in this game, Snowy Panda, is the states that you have the most money from other than Texas are mostly blue states, Democrat states. Ooh, New York's firmly blue again. Now, if only we can get, like, Pennsylvania and Ohio in a few places to be. Let's see, can we make some more national ads while we're at it? National ads, um... Have we done all these? Fast and Furious Inquiry? Our opponent... Yeah, our opponent won't provide his tax returns. Please them dry. Give me all your monies. I needs to be president. All right, so that's pretty good. We need to have... Um, I, don't, I need more political operative points. I should have built more of those. I think we'll fly to Virginia. Yeah, we'll move this guy out too. We'll move him into... Um, See, we'll move him into we'll move him into Maine. We don't have anybody in Maine representing us. I think that seems fair. And we'll just upgrade this ed headquarters. That should hopefully help us some in this area, because right now Mitt Romney's awareness is way more than us, which isn't good. See, on unemployment, reducing unemployment. Oh, they still believe him more than us. That's not good. Haven't I done enough TV ads about that? Ooh, let's go to. Mississippi. No, we're not Mississippi. Alabama. What a shame. As soon as Lucy arrived... Oh, they took away 412 grand from a lawsuit. I'm never coming to the South again. Fuck this shit. Can I have money? 35 grand. That sucks. <laughs> that was a whole lot of bone. You know what the cool thing, though, is we're getting more purple areas. We're slowly breaking up his hold. We're still way behind in electoral votes, but... Let's see, let's go to... North Carolina is kind of leaning towards us. Why don't we do something about that? We're going to build a headquarters here. And then let's create a radio ad that our opponent... 
Um, yeah, our opponent wants to withdraw from Afghanistan. I know that'll help him with Democrats, but I think we're going to probably get the Democrat vote anyway. I'll take a risk. Why the hell not? And then we'll create a newspaper ad to reduce unemployment even further. Oh, I don't have money for that. Fuck that. Just raise funds. And then we'll go up to Pennsylvania. How many more turns do we got? Six? Five after this? Do you th Does anybody think we're going to win? I don't know. We're slowly turning the map purple. I like that. Washington should be our color. That's frustrating to me. I really want Washington. Not a chance. <laughs> but Dr. Potato, I want it. Yeah, Romney might find a way to lose. We're going to create another ad, a radio ad. Let's see. Our opponent... Opponent... Um, our opponent favors the Christian nation, and it makes that baby cry. Romney's a Satanist. <laughs> Uh, I was going to be like those Mormons are, but I don't want to offend anybody who's Mormon. I don't want to be an ass. I'm just jick dicking around. I have avoided, um, I have avoided Utah out here, but that wasn't purposely. It's just Utah's not really a bastion of liberalism. So we're going to, let's go to Ohio. We've got so many ads here. Special interest, PR clout. Can we get anything? Five, consultant. Speech writer. Let's give a speech. Um, domestic surveillance? Yeah. No, I'm not going to favor... I oppose domestic surveillance. Oh, that's not going to help us enough. I'm against outsourcing of jobs. I should look to see if that helped us any. Ooh, our rating... Awareness... Our rating went over him a little bit. Let's kick ass. Can we, how much is a radio ad? Oh, there's a whole bunch of things we can do now. Illegal immigration. Let's see, green jobs. My opponent opposes green jobs. Yeah. That makes me feel better saying bad things about it. Yeah, Maryland turned blue. Kick ass. I want some more TV opportunities. Oh, except for Florida. How are we doing in Florida? Oh, we're just barely ahead in Florida. That's not good. Let's see, we got four more turns. Um, let's see, we're going to create another ad. We're going to create a TV ad. Social Security. I favor Social Security. Yeah, that's what we need. And then we'll give a speech. Let's find uh, missile defense shield. No, legalizing marijuana. <laughs> but I'm in favor of legalizing that. State unions. No, farm subsidies. Uh, what are I don't know. Fixing the obesity crisis. Yeah. That's a stupid thing to give a speech about. No more fatties. I've had enough of the fatties. <laughs> that seems appropriate. We'll raise some funds. Wait, who's that? She's a media darling? Oh, that's no good. I don't like that. Is there a way to get rid of that? Oh, Massachusetts is ours. If you can't win your home state, you don't deserve to win, Mitt Romney. That was Al Gore's problem. He couldn't win his home state. Oh, we're leading the projected electoral votes. Let's see. Do we have our up... Let's see. Is this upgraded all the way? I don't think so. Or do you think so? I don't know. Special interest? We don't have enough of that. We'll create some more ads. Let's see. Government? Auto barrel outs. Our opponent doesn't like those. He didn't want to help the auto industry or jobs. He hates that kind of shit. Uh, let's see. Where's Social Security? Oh, it's not on here? Oh, there it is. I'm going to do a speech in Florida of I favor it. Get all the old people to support me. 
We'll create a newspaper ad that says the same thing. Let's see, where's Social Security on here? Oh, it's number one. Oh, and we're way ahead of Mitt Romney on that. Maybe I didn't need to do that. What kind of car did you get? Um, we got to make some last minute speeches. Let's see. Oh, we're really close here. We're really close in a lot of states. Really close in Michigan. Doing better in Pennsylvania. Oh, just ahead in Ohio. Georgia or North Carolina? Well, let's see how we are in Georgia. I don't know. Georgia would be tough. Yeah, but there's where there's a lot more electoral votes in Ohio or Michigan. I'm really close in a lot of those states. Really close. Yeah, but Michigan and Ohio both have more votes than North Carolina do. And, like, I'm almost as close in Michigan as I am in North Carolina. In fact, I'm a little closer in North Carolina. We're going to fly up to Michigan. Yeah, but I, I can take his down by giving him a um, lot of go. I can say bad things about him there. See, like, uh, in Michigan, let's see, let's... Um, I can take down his, like, tax cut ratings or something else, reduce unemployment... Make it so it's closer to the mine. So I can uh, create an ad. Reducing unemployment. We'll do another TV one. I'm really going to hammer him on that. We'll give him a speech. Say he wears women's clothing? But I wear women's clothing too. I mean, Lucy Vagina does. I, not, I do pur purposely. My opponent opposes high gas prices. No, my opponent favors high gas prices. Yep. That's what I heard. I just made it up. Then we'll go to Ohio. Oh wait, no, we gotta get to North South Carolina. The O'Malley scenario? Oh no. This is a conservative show. Do I dare go on it and take the risk? That hopefully if I have a good showing it'll boost us over the little bit we need. Lots of politicians make things up, Davy. It's a sad truth of things. Our internet blog's doing more to infringe on our patriotic freedom than expand it? And what does one presidential stand to learn from me? Good evening, I'm Bill O'Malley, and you're watching The Scenario. Oh, I didn't read that. Fuck, I hit the button. Uh, our borders... Let's see. We don't want open borders. I believe we are all citizens of the world. We need open borders. I would beef up the Border Patrol. I believe the border's reasonably under control. I would put the military on the border. Um... God, what do I say? She's like super liberal. Should I? I believe we're all citizens of the world. I'm sorry. I've got to. I've got to be role playing a little bit. Are you nuts? Possibly. I don't look at myself as an American. Such na no. I'm not going to say that. You're not going to say I'm not American. I mean to say we should let everyone in. But I do believe to be. I don't mean to say that we should let everyone in. But I do believe that we should be more open. The more open borders would encourage the United States to have policies that benefit its neighbors more. Give the people of Mexico and Central America a reason to stay in their native lands. Oh yeah, I turned it on you, dickhead. The government wastes billions of dollars, but that's not the worst of it. The government loses billions of dollars too. Literally has no idea where it went. Like the Obamacare website. They spent hundreds of millions of dollars on it and it doesn't work. That's why I hate seeing the government being put in charge of anything that isn't necessary. It's just so wasteful and corrupt. What's your take on it? Big government... Bigger government, the government isn't perfect, that's true, but it is at least relatively unbiased compared to private companies who are driven by the market. The government works for the people. Wow, we actually did good on here. I'll extend a special thanks to our guests for the opportunity to allow me to teach the future president something. I'm Bill O'Malley, thank you. Yay, they're happy with how we did. I like how it turned all Canadian in the talk chat. And look at all the purple states. So many fucking purple states. Let's uh, go to North Carolina, since it's near. Hire an operative. We're going to hire a consultant? I don't know if that's going to help us. It's kind of late in the game for a consultant. Our awareness is max. Where isn't our awareness maxed? The things are close. Let's see, our awareness is maxed. Let's send... Can I get to the consultant? Where is it? 
Oh, I thought I got it. I can't see it. A big head in the way. All right, good enough. All right, we've got like one more turn, one or two more turns, and then we're done. And then it's all fucking over. All right, we're finally okay. We look good on the west coast. I hope we win Nevada for snowy. We're doing slightly better there, not totally better though. Man, we're so close in a lot of these states. How are we in Florida? Man, we're trailing in Florida. That sucks. What about Ohio? We're just barely ahead in Ohio. Oh, we're just barely ahead in Michigan. We're going to go to Florida. Wait, what about Pennsylvania? See, we're just barely ahead in Pennsylvania. Okay, so what would change people's minds here? Reducing unemployment. We could maybe switch that here. So we're going to create an ad, a TV ad, re reducing unemployment. Our opponent re uh, is against that. We're going to give the speech that our opponent is against unemployment or is for unemployment. Let's see if that made any difference. Oh, look, now we're ahead of him on unemployment in F Florida. Oh, we, let's do one more. Can we do one more ad? How much do we have money-wise? 375. We'll do another unemployment one. We're just going to saturate the market. So that our opponent doesn't want people to have jobs. I don't remember if this is the last turn or if that was. Oh, fucking media, darling. Suck that shit. With Lucy Vagina and Mitt Romney starting to feel the burn of 41 weeks, the two candidates are forced to push for one more week of last-minute vote-grabbing. Hands will be shaken, babies will be kissed, prom don't, don't tongue them. Uh, promises will be made, but, it'll, but will it capture enough votes to bring home the presidency? We'll know in a week. I'll be right back. Sorry to delay it just a second. You can take a look at the map. Uh, it's still way up for grabs. Let, let's take a look at the polls a second right now we're projected ahead in the electoral polls but that doesn't mean we're going to win we're definitely projected ahead in the popular vote yeah it's weird Louisiana's a toss up I could not am I used to live in Louisiana there's no way Louisiana would vote for someone over my candidate yeah that was fast when I had a Fap one out. Politics are so hot. I was like, yes. Okay, let's see. Um, how are we doing in this state? Oh, he's still ahead of us. That fucking asshole. Maybe we can get him on supporting Israel. So let's uh. Let's create an ad about Israel. Our opponent opposes Israel. Wait, was that a newspaper ad? Let's uh create a radio ad that our opponent opposes Israel. Yeah, there we go. That monocle makes it work. Look at all... He's in Florida, too, I think. It's come down to the wire. Look, Al Franken's not moved from Kentucky since I put him there. At least Massachusetts looks good. And Nixon's still in California. And I really hope we pull off the West. He got all those endorsements because they spent uh, his money on different things. Okay, um... Let's see. Let's give a speech... Supporting Israel, my opponent opposes that. Okay, so let's see where we're doing now. 
Okay, we're ahead of him now on Israel. Oh, and we've managed to tie the rating thing here. Oh, fuck, this is going to be close. Can I bring anybody in that can change things? Uh, not awareness. How are we doing in Ohio? Ohio's too fucking close to pull anybody. What about New York? Is that a spear merchant? No. What about this guy? Lowers opponent integrity in the state by half. Scandalmonger. Can you get there? Oh, please, Scandalmonger. Can you make a difference there? <laughs> Create. Uh, Pennsylvania, I think, will be okay. And Pennsylvania's close, but... That's only... All we have there is just a guy that raises awareness, though. And our awareness is already maxed. Oh, and a guy that lowers advertising costs who should really be in Ohio, but it doesn't matter at that point. Man, we should have... Oh, Florida's too... Too many of these states are too fucking close. A lot of these states are like one point or exactly the same. So here we go. Oh, he got... Maine, we got Massachusetts. Fuck you, Rhode Island. Yeah, New York. Fuck you, New Hampshire and Connecticut. Oh, yeah, Maryland. Oh, I wanted Virginia. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Some of those states we were close, so I'm going to pick them up. At least we got New Jersey. Let's see, we're slightly ahead. Oh, we lost Ohio. We're kind of... We might be fucked now. Yo, yeah, well, at least we picked up Florida. <laughs> oh, and Michigan. We need that. We need, like, Illinois and a lot of those states. I can't believe we lost Ohio. We were ahead in there. I can't believe we got Louisiana. That's trippy. Oh, yeah, blue. Here's going to be a bunch of red states, though. It's going to start to catch up in the red states in the middle. Oh, yeah, Oklahoma? I don't think we even went there. Oklahoma, where the votes come flying down the plains. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. New Mexico, Arizona. Oh, fuck you, Arizona. Nevada? Yeah, Nevada. Thank you, Snowy Panda. Yeah, and we're going to get the West Coast, of course. Well, how many do you have to get? I can't remember. 270, we got it. Yeah. Suck it. I'm glad I went to Nevada. <laughs> Might not have needed it, but yeah. Can't believe we lost Ohio. We were so close in so many of those states. Vagina wins. Vagina wins. With Al Franken. Vagina is home court denial. That must mean I made it so the other guy didn't win his home state. Vagina has won the day in the presidency with a strong showing in the popular, both the popular vote and the electoral college one of the deciding factors in vagina's victory was their use of political capital no it's because we spent more money vagina spent more money than romney money might not buy you love but it can buy you votes apparently let's uh look at the exit polls we had six million well we had about five million more votes than he did wow we spent a lot more money tax cuts they believed the vagina well they believed him more than the vagina they believed him more in reducing unemployment he won on Obamacare and <laughs> deficit reduction. Hey, we won on gay marriage, though. And alternative energies and auto bailouts. Well, I had to trash him. I wanted to win. Come on, would you vote for her otherwise? Look at that face. You're like, oh. Oh, yeah. All vagina, all the way. That's a vagina victory, friends. Uh, it might, yeah, Obamacare is not popular. But I, I don't think I really... Maybe that's the good thing for us that then he ran on that. I don't know. I still can't believe we didn't get Ohio. Can we look at exit results in just Ohio? So fucking close. See, the predicted thing we were just ahead. Within the margin of error, though. Oh. That sucks we lost that. But we won, the, uh, we won in the end. Stick with your National Health Service? I thought you wrote nuts at first, because I only read part of it. I thought you wrote, I'll stick with my nuts. I was like, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind healthcare. All right, good. That was fun. Thank you, everybody. Oh, that's a scary face. Stick Sucker's face was much better. Uh, well, that was the character I was going to do next time if I didn't do Dick Sucker, but I'll probably do Dick Sucker again next time for uh, when 2016 comes out, if it does. Hopefully it does. That was fun, though. I want to thank everybody who came out and everybody who participated. That it was one scary face. She's got that cat eye. I'm looking into your soul. Yeah, well, I wasn't planning on it, but then uh, I don't remember who suggested it, so... The world will end before 2016? I don't know. I'd be surprised if that happened. If it did, I'm going to run up a bunch of debts before then, so I don't have to pay them. 
you know, if, if you're gonna die, you might as well. Well, thank you, Snowy Panda, for being uh, for suggesting it. It was a lot of fun. I have not played that. I don't think since I did the LP of it, which was I think late last year. I mean, I'll, longer ago than that. It was before the election. Dirt. Well, I'm gonna head off, everybody. I hope you all have a good night. Thanks again. Uh, Snowy Panda, I look forward to seeing uh, your Stronghold one when you get to it. It's a fun game to play. I'm glad you enjoy watching it. It's it's fun to play, too, because you can play it in an hour or two. It's a really easy, simple LP. Well, it's kind of tough if you're not familiar with American politics because we don't directly elect our president. We vote for other people to vote for our president. So, And it's not like Parliament where our, our Congress decides. So, Whatever. I didn't invent the system. Uh, I hope you all have a good night, and thanks for hanging out. Maybe I'll do another one of these next week or whatever. Check me out on YouTube if you want. You don't have to. See y'all. How do I turn this off? Derp.